Sentence non-starters. This is something we need to stop doing in English writing. Do not start sentences with these words, and, but, so, or. Why not? These words are connectors. They join words and phrases together within sentences. They are not meant to begin sentences. But, you say, I do it all the time, and that's wrong? So what should I do about it? Say what you want, but in writing, you are expected to follow certain conventions. One of these is to put connecting words in their proper place, not at the beginning of sentences. Let's look at some examples. I like pizza. I like hamburgers. These are two separate sentences. They're separated at the period. I like pizza, comma, and I like hamburgers. These are connected ideas within the same sentence. They're connected with the word and and a comma. A variation on that is I like pizza and hamburgers. They're more closely connected. Now look at the last one. I like pizza, period, and I like hamburgers. What's wrong? You have a separation with the period and you have a connection with the conjunction and. Don't connect and separate at the same time. That's wrong. How do I fix this problem in writing? Well, there are basically three ways. Number one, delete the connecting word at the beginning of the sentence. Two, connect the sentences with a comma and a connecting word. Three, use a reconnecting word to begin a new sentence or thought. Let's look at some examples. John hurried to the airport, period but his plane had already left. This is incorrect. Why? Because you stop a sentence and then you use a connector as if you're connecting to another idea. How can we fix this? John hurried to the airport, period. His plane had already left. You have two separate sentences here. John hurried to the airport, comma, but his plane had already left. You have one sentence separated by a comma and but, so it's combined into one sentence. The next one. John hurried to the airport, period. However, his plane had already left. The word however lets you start a new sentence after the period. You're able to connect the idea, but not the sentences. So reconnecting words allow you to start a new sentence and keep the thought going without connecting the two sentences together. There are some slight variations on method number three. First, you can sometimes use a semicolon instead of a period. For example, Jill had to pass the test, period. Therefore, she studied all night. You see these are two separate sentences, and they're using a reconnecting word, therefore. B. Jill had to pass the test, semicolon. Therefore, she studied all night. Now, a semicolon is a special kind of punctuation. It's halfway between a period and a comma. You see the period at the top and the comma at the bottom. So it enables you to reconnect ideas like this without starting a brand new sentence. Two, you can break the sentence between the subject and verb and insert a reconnecting word between two commas. For example, 
he made a big mistake in his presentation. However, Eric continued as if nothing happened. B. He made a big mistake in his presentation. Eric, however, continued as if nothing happened. This is a small variation on using reconnecting words. How do we distinguish between connecting and reconnecting words? Well, today is your lucky day. We have prepared a list of these words just for you. Connecting and reconnecting words. We'll show you what these words signify and then show you the difference between the connectors and the reconnecting words. To indicate addition, we use a connector like and to connect two ideas together in the same sentence. The reconnecting words are also besides, moreover, furthermore, additionally, in addition. For contrast, we use the connectors but or yet. The reconnectors or reconnecting words are however, still, conversely, instead, rather, in contrast, nevertheless, on the other hand. For reason, consequence, cause and effect, we use the connectors so or for. The reconnecting words are therefore, thus, as a result, accordingly. For choice, the connectors are or or nor. Reconnecting words are otherwise. For sequence or time, we don't have connectors, but we use a lot of reconnecting words at the beginning of sentences. First, second, third, then, next, finally. Meanwhile, at the same time. For emphasis, we use the reconnecting words actually, in fact, indeed, of course, clearly, on the contrary. Now, some people classify on the contrary as a contrasting word. Actually, it indicates emphasis. We have a whole video designed to explain that, and we'll leave a link to that below. Similarity. Reconnecting words are similarly, likewise, comparatively. Illustration. Reconnecting words are, for instance, for example, in other words. Summary. Reconnecting words are in conclusion, in summary, hence. Some things to watch out for. Don't use connectors as reconnecting words and vice versa. For example, I wanted to win the race, so comma, I ran as fast as I could. No, this is incorrect. How do you fix it? Look at the examples below. I wanted to win the race, comma, so I ran as fast as I could. That's okay. You're connecting two sentences together with so. I wanted to win the race, period. Therefore, I ran as fast as I could. That's also okay. You're starting a new sentence and using a reconnector to keep the thought going. One more thing. Do not connect two sentences with a comma and no connecting word. That is called a comma splice and it is incorrect. For example, Penny works at the supermarket, comma, Brad works at the post office. This is incorrect. You have two separate sentences. How do you fix it? Well, you could put a period between the sentences. Penny works at the supermarket, period. Brad works at the post office. Or you could combine them using the connecting word and and a comma. Penny works at the supermarket, comma, and Brad works at the post office. Or you could use a period, stop one sentence, and a reconnecting word to continue the thought after the separation of sentences. Penny works at the supermarket, period. However, 
Brad works at the post office. Test yourself. Tell whether the following are correct or incorrect. Read them and decide whether they're okay or not okay. Feel free to stop the video and take as much time as you need to complete this exercise. Here's the answer key. We will read the answers and then give you the correction. The first sentence was not okay. The correction is over here on the left. I love my grandmother, comma, and she loves me. The second sentence was okay in the original. Mr. Tonto hurried to the hospital, but it was too late. 3. The original sentence was not okay. Here is the corrected sentence. Stella wanted to catch a cab, comma, so she waited at the curb. Number 4. Was not okay. Here's the correction. You could order the chicken, comma, or you could have the fish. The fifth sentence was not okay. Here's the correction. I tried to convince her, semicolon, however, my girlfriend wouldn't listen. It's also possible to put a period right before the however and start a new sentence with a capital H, however. Number six was okay. You need to do this right away. Otherwise, you'll be sorry. Number seven was not okay. You need to separate the two sentences with a period. I'm going to Laos for the vacation, period. Tad is going to Egypt. Number eight was okay in the original. Don't play with matches. You might get burnt. Number nine was also okay. That movie is too expensive. Besides, I've seen it already. Number ten. The original was not okay. First, you clear the table. Period. Then, you wash the dishes. Eleven was okay. I did my very best. Jay, however, got the gold medal. 12. The original was not okay. Here is the correction. Rena ran as fast as she could, comma, but she didn't catch the bus. Hope that was helpful. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up in the comments section. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. If you have ideas for our next video, please let us know at the link below. Thanks for watching. This video was brought to you by eslgold.com and freeenglishstudy.com.